Hello class, this is section 2.5 and in this video we are going to talk about the uniqueness of steady state temperatures. So let's consider another solution of the Laplace equation. And we have again set the boundary condition with a parameter theta. So f theta is the boundary condition with this solution u. And it would be nice if given a single boundary condition that you only can get one steady state solution out of it. Let's see if it's true. And this is another application of the maximum principle. So assume another solution vxy. That we have another function vxy that, who, that whose Laplacian is zero. And such that the boundary values of v is also f theta. In other words, u and v are two solutions of the Laplace equation with the same boundary conditions. Let's see what happens then if we define w as u minus v. This is a definition. It's pretty clear that the boundary condition of w is the boundary condition of u minus the boundary condition of v. And therefore, the boundary condition of w is 0. But remember that by the maximum principle, the max and min of w must lie on the boundary. But the boundary temperatures for this Laplace, equa Laplace equation solution is zero everywhere. The boundary temperature for W is zero everywhere. And since the max and min of W must be on the boundary, the max and min of W must, must always be zero. This says that U xy minus Vxy equals Wxy equals zero but which is of course the same thing as saying that uxy is equal to vxy. And therefore, if two solutions of the Laplace equation have the same boundary values on the same surface, they must be equal. There is only one solution given each boundary condition.